Hey friends, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today I have a month long worth of, month long worth of, a month's worth of groceries for you. I saw Frugal Fit Mom doing this and I was like, that's a cool idea. So I copied it, I stole it, whatever you wanna call it. I think that it's a form of flattery, right? When you do something that is similar to somebody else because you like their idea. So good on you Frugal Fit Mom for coming up with that idea, but I'm, I'm totally, totally with it. I feel like it's more of a benefit for you guys. Hopefully you like the idea and the format because you get the entire picture, the entire month's worth of groceries all in one versus like piecemeal, this and that. You can kind of see what my total was at the end, which is super fun. We had a great month of food. As you saw in my videos, we were going through regular like pantry items and kind of zazzing them up. So I didn't have to do like a ton of meat shopping or anything like that. And you can see really how I shop. I usually don't shop very much for recipes as much as I do shop for bulking up the pantry that I already have. So we still ate really well just eating out of the pantry. And then I also did an extreme grocery budget challenge. So that isn't in this video, but it is part of my total. So make sure to check out that challenge if you haven't already. Make sure to watch through this video first and see all the groceries that I got for the rest of the month. And then you can click down below in the description box and I will have the extreme grocery budget challenge as well as another grocery haul that is what food you should buy at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, not in this video, but there's a whole other video on a bunch of food that I did buy at Dollar Tree that was such a steal. So let's check out some groceries. All right, so here are a bunch of stock up items that I got at Walmart and my first official haul of April. And uh, mistake, I know you have somebody, you know, somebody who's watching this has made this mistake before and make sure to comment below if you have so I don't feel alone. The bananas, I thought they were 10. I was getting 10 bananas. No, I was getting 10 bunches of bananas. So that's fun. I, th I think this has happened to me before too, so that's cool. Um, good thing the kids love bananas and we all love bananas and as they go bad, if they go bad, we can't like eat them all in time, I can freeze them and that way I'll have a stock up of freezer bananas. So it's almost like I meant to do it on purpose. So that's that's fine, that's cool, that's a little wild. Then we've got sour cream, I got three containers. Wanna say hi? Hi. What do you else do you have to say today? What? I don't know. What else do you wanna say to the camera? <coughs> A hug? A hug to the camera? I love you guys all, yeah. <laughs> You're too funny. So three things of sour cream. These are going to be good for a little while, I think. They're good for the next month, and I think if I needed to, I could Benny freeze them. Benny trying to hit me, guys. Oh, no, we, it's not. Benny yeah. doesn't hit anybody. Yes, why don't you, he went Why don't you go play outside now? I got some gluten-free tortillas. That was the only, like, non-stock up thing, just because uh, we're going to make something, and I wanted gluten-free. I got three things of butter. Just gonna put those in the fridge. They should be fine for a while, but if I need to, I will put them in the freezer too. Cause you can freeze butter. If you can get a good deal on butter, oh my goodness, stock up, now's the time. I got three things of semi-sweet chocolate chip cause I realized I was out of chocolate chips and that's painful for us. So I don't know, just a few stock up items there. I got uh, three large things of the Skippy Natural. My husband likes that and I was like, you know what? Now's the time, let's do it. Three, see, buy one for now, two for later. I don't know, that's in my head except I don't really need them right now. <laughs> so I'm just buying three of everything. I got, I'm holding the baby too. So if you feel seasick, I apologize. He's, say hi. Hello. Um, yeah, he needs, he needs my love. So I got these things of cheddar cheese. These are so small, six ounces. That's the organic kind. Uh, I should, the blocks were the same per ounce, I think, in price. So I don't know. I was thinking about freezing some, but these are good till September. So and I'll, I will likely go through it in the next week, <laughs> to be honest. That's just for us to make some stuff with. We're always having some food that needs some cheddar cheese. I got three containers of fire roasted diced tomatoes. And if you guys know, what was it? What video did I do that? Oh, that was in the Extreme Grocery Budget Challenge. And I, oh, it's okay. In the Extreme Grocery Budget Challenge, I did a soup that was with fire roasted tomatoes. And I was like, these are amazing. So... Bought three containers of those, three things of sun butter because I wanna do like a lot of homemade granola bars and energy balls and I'll need that for that. Six containers of fruit cocktail just to keep in the cabinet, but Julian already found them and he's gonna start eating them again. So I kinda need to just tell him like, these are not for you. They're just for stock up, sorry. I got three containers of refried beans. I just like to keep those around. Three more things of applesauce because I've been using that a lot for baking and cooking and it's going great. So I'm really enjoying that. That's the unsweetened kind. 
And then someone note mentioned in my last stock of haul about cat food. And I was like, oh my, you're right. I meant to do that. So I bought two large bags of kitten chow for Mac. And uh, that's that's this week's haul. We're gonna pretty much eat off of what we have in the fridge and freezer. That should do it for us. All right, so I got a Whole Foods order this morning. And I'm actually going away for a night with my girlfriends this weekend. So I wanted to make sure there was lots of snacks in the house that everyone would be happy with. And this order, if I got this amount of stuff from Aldi, I swear it would be like 100, 150. This was $261 with like delivery and tip from Whole Foods, which is insane. But I did get some good stuff. This combined with my order last week from Walmart that was 155 ends up like hitting my $400 mark and it's april 8th so we'll have to see how the rest of the month goes i think we're actually gonna be in good shape because i have a ton of stuff stocked up i'm not worried i'm gonna do a pantry challenge and i'm also probably gonna do an extreme grocery budget challenge so if i do the grocery budget challenge i will need to spend like an extra 60 bucks probably but other than that i think we should be in good shape so hopefully i come in under like 500 bucks is my goal for the month at this point but it's worth it because Here's the thing, I'm going away and I would spend all the money in the world to, <laughs> to have a night away with my girlfriends. So there's a cost associated. And one of those things is like, I'm good at getting the kids like snacks, like, oh, let me whip up some muffins for you or like finding something in the back of the fridge and being like, oh, why don't you eat this? My husband, he needs like easy, easy and which is fine because it's not his forte, right? He's not... He's not the one that's like taking care of the food all the time. And I don't want him to because that's like my jam. Like I love being like, I can find something in the back of the fridge. But if I'm not here, I need to make it easy for everybody. So I'm gonna make sure there's lots of good snacks. So that's why I did this. And that's why I spent a little extra money. Let's get into what I purchased. Oh, and I got some stuff for Easter. So that kind of counts towards my Easter budget. budget. So that will actually come out. These are like $10 each. So that's 20 bucks on its own. Um, it's expensive, but this stuff is awesome. Allergy friendly, yum earth. These are, so they're basically jelly beans, sour beans. My kids love sour and gummy bears. And this is it for their, their, the treats that'll be in their, um, Easter baskets. That's plenty. Uh, so I'm psyched on this 15 snacks. Neat. So you do get like a lot for your 10 bucks or maybe not. Cause you can get that like for like a dollar if you're buying the other stuff, but that's okay. I'm happy with these. I'm trying to avoid most of all artificial dyes, um, because, of my son's sensitivity. So that is number one. I got more string cheese because they are going through it like crazy. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing about the string cheese. I got three things of organic mozzarella. And again, just like the cheddar cheese, I can freeze this if I need to. But honestly, I think it's it's up in like July and I'll eat it by July. Where's the thing? July, yeah, I'll eat this by July. I got a pound of grass-fed beef that's for um, a specific recipe and also some uh, tomato sauce. Now, I don't necessarily want to get my tomato sauce from here. I'd actually like to make my own tomato sauce, so I might be doing that in an upcoming video or something. But I just got one pack because I'm literally out, so that was important. Uh, Diamond Crystal, if you know, you know. This stuff is like the best salt. It's perfect. Like the shape is perfect of it. And I don't know. All the chefs recommend it because it like it, it sprinkles just right. And... I haven't had it in a long time because I ran out and then it used to ship on Amazon and now it's only if you get it through Whole Foods and I haven't made a Whole Foods order in forever. So finally made the Whole Foods order and I'm like, yes, I'm getting my diamond crystal. A few things on here that I've been had, had in my Whole Foods cart for a while and I just needed to wait until I made an order. I also had some organic cornmeal, two things of that. That's kind of a stock up item. I want to be able to make some cornbread cheap and easy and, uh, 100% gluten-free blah, blah blah so I wanted to get that because the Jiffy mix is not like a gluten-free mix then uh coconut aminos shout out if you like these I have never tried them um I know some people that swear by them and they're supposed to be good for you so I was going to try them in place of soy sauce and see how it goes because it's supposed to be really good stuff I got these ancient harvest gluten-free organic pastas I just wanted to try these this brand out few different things again this is more of a stock up because I'm trying to just kind of get my pantry filled with some uh, gluten-free items those are over like three dollars each which is way more expensive than the bonza and the kids like the bonza so we'll have to see if this is if there's like a reason the only issue I have with the bonza is that it doesn't hold up that well if you overcook it like even by a second so maybe this will hold up better we'll see cream cheese three things of cream cheese you're gonna need one for a recipe and the other two are just stock up 
I got some bread. I keep saying, I'm gonna make bread, I'm gonna make bread. I did start my starter. I'm gonna cut to the starter. Truth be told, this is my second attempt and this is actually day four, but things are looking good. I'm actually feel like I am seeing some movement in this. So yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we'll be making some sourdough soon. Yeah, so how cool does that look? <laughs> but I needed bread. I was like, I'm going to make bread. I swear I'm going to make it. I have so much wheat. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. So here we go. We need to sandwich bread. I'm trying out these. Um, they're like fig newtons, gluten-free. See if Tommy likes those. I wanted to try this because my youngest son is obsessed with mayonnaise. And I think the avocado is like a healthier choice. So let's try it. Can I tell you what's going on in the background right now? Mac, what are you doing? Are you causing trouble? Yeah, he's adorable, he's getting huge. But, causing trouble. So, so for snacks, I got a bunch of these white cheddar hippie. Okay, I'm gonna take that away from him. Bunch of packages of these. These are basically like um, healthy, healthy. <laughs> They're alternative. Cheetos, and I think the kids will be happy with those this weekend. The real problem, Mac. It's really loud. We need more ketchup, so I was like, when in Rome, let's get the fancy stuff. Sir Kensington's, this will be good. Try it out. I desperately need a cumin, so here we go. We've got cumin. Add that to the spice cabinet. Trying these, I don't think I've had these before, so it's kind of a risk to buy three of them, but um even if they're like not good i think i can add them to like a homemade granola and we'll love them anyway because i'm gonna make homemade granola it's on the list uh macadamias tommy told me that mac raw macadamias are his favorite nut <laughs> he thinks they are so sweet and delicious so i got these uh for him as a snack he got some gluten-free hamburger buns again i was like i'm gonna make my own didn't happen and we're gonna eat something coming up here so we're gonna need that couple of granola bars also said I was gonna make my own granola bars life gets in the way man we'll get to it it's like a slow roll these if you haven't tried these these are fantastic they are such a good snack I'm probably gonna break into them about like 2.5 they are so delicious and I don't I think they just didn't have three because I think I did order three so that's a bummer but that's okay just a bunch of nuts <laughs> These are great snacks. I'm going to put them in little containers and my husband's going to take them to work and I'm going to eat them as snacks too. Then I got two things of this einkorn flour. Look, these are small compared to like this. Look how tiny. They're like the little guys. So it's two pounds each, I think. 32 ounces. Oh God, it's like slippery. Okay, yeah, 32 ounces. These are almost $6. So, wow. I think there's like, if you buy more bulk online, you can get a better deal. But this is an ancient grain. It's supposed to be really, really good for cooking. And it may actually be okay if you have like a gluten sensitivity. So, I'm going to try it out. Puffs. Check these out. These are fancy. Grain free puffs made with bone broth for the babe. Probably put one of these, one or two of these in a, his Easter basket too. And then last thing I got was honey grams, gluten-free. This is just to keep around for sometimes the kids like to do like a uh, s'mores and just wanted to have those on hand. Get them while I'm at the place that has those. So yeah, that's what I got here. And then hopefully the rest of this month is just going to be our extreme grocery budget challenge and we'll see a pantry challenge and all of those hopefully will have already been out and you would have seen them if you haven't seen them and i've posted them i'll put them in the description box below yeah maybe you'll see something else here maybe not all right in there i also had my dollar tree what's best to buy at the dollar tree for food so i will put that video down below in the description box so that was a small purchase that was part of my grocery buy for the month and some things that i was able to use for food I did want to show you one last little buy that I just did yesterday. I got some rainbow kale at Walmart for $2.70 and I probably put up that right in the freezer. This is great to either cook up or put in like a uh, quiche or something or put in smoothies. So great to have and so cheap. It was too good to be true. Then I got some ground mustard at Walmart because I burned my finger. Um, because I burned my finger. No, because... 
I think I'm going to make my own mustard for an upcoming make things from scratch video. So I'm excited about that. I've been desperately needing uh, tomato paste. So I got like four of these. I do want to try and make my own in the future because the garden is coming in hot. And then no tomatoes yet, but they'll, they'll get there. I found this classic balsamic for five, no, for four dollars on in the clearance section, and obviously that's not a cheap price. And I can make my own, but it's nice to have in the freezer, and it's good marinade, and it's uh, super healthy, good stuff. So I grabbed a couple of those. I got some Asiago bagels. You can see we already had some for breakfast from Einstein Bagel for two ninety one on the clearance bakery rack and there was so much stuff on there this time but i just grabbed this one because i've been really into making my own bread and stuff and i got some organic pink lady apples just for the kids and potatoes for an upcoming recipe so just a few small things to round out the uh, entire grocery haul for the entire month so on this food here i spent 2808 and at dollar tree i had spent 21.25 so my total for the entire month is 502.69, so over 400, but still really good on our family of five, and the baby is eating like a rock star now too. So we're doing pretty good. I feel great about this. Oh, and that includes the cat too, the extra bulk up of the cat food. So, you know, that, that definitely puts us over. All right, I wanna thank you so much for watching today. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I think I might do these monthly grocery hauls. Comment below if you're interested in seeing that versus like ones here and there, or if you're just like grocery hauls, no way, don't do them. Let me know how you're feeling about it down below. Make sure to give the video a like whether you are into grocery hauls or not, but <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already so I can do uh, lots more budget meals for you. I am posting three times a week. So we have rice and beans videos and I'm trying to get into like many, many pantry things that you'd regularly use and how we can use those either differently um, or spruce them up to make things a little bit fancier and make your budget meals taste even better. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Adios.